like combat. Hello. And then that one that says Hello. new. Hello. Hey. You just right click it, and then in the command lines, you do all the stuff. I already have this. And then details, you get a label to change the name. All right, cool. Thanks. Oh, hold on. Hello. One second. All right. All righty then. Here we go. Mm. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another, that's right, another D&D &D game. Uh, the old crowd is back, but hey, guess what? Not alone. There's two newcomers to the field. A Holy new challenger! Stars back into the sky. And we're going to get to introductions here in a second before we get started. Um, thanks, everybody, for showing up. Today is going to be the first episode in a new D&D game called Galen's Gate. Hopefully, uh, as is you know the hopeful design of it, is that this will actually be a, a long-term game that will last, well, basically until the story's done. So no more false starts, no more uh, early early calls, all that good stuff. Also, this game is, I will be putting up on YouTube after each episode is done instead of waiting for them all to be done. I'm just going to start popping them up there. So, clickety-clack. All right, so let's get straight to it. <clears throat> I've got some music for you guys. Do, 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 do. Classic. Our story begins in the harsh environment of the Badlands, where it meets the Ordean border A wealthy patron, eccentric, and with a bit of wanderlust, by the name of Galen Gustavo, has decided to found a new settlement, one where he may write his own laws, and a place that he hopes to be a utopia, and a ward against the sickness of the wastes of the Badlands. A rather brave proposition, and one that does not come easily. For such a venture will require not only the aid of skilled masons, carpenters, farmers, and the such, but something else. It will require those that can safeguard the people, help to build the town, and those that will take its place as nobles amongst the elite. It is on one carriage of mercenaries meant to guard the caravan on its long trek, which, in defiance of all odds, has been three solid weeks of easy roads, clear skies, and warm food. And now, up ahead, the large expanse of land previously scouted and prospect rises up from the flat desert wastes. A slight scrub rind can be seen growing up from beneath the carriage, and here the mercenaries sit, and where our story begins. All right, so who's going to go first? Let's start with one of the newcomers. All right, Sean, give us an introduction. Hey, hey, everyone. I'm not the DM right now. Uh, that's weird. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> oh, I, my name is Bractor Iron Bellos. I am a forge cleric of the Seven, with a slight diversion into nerd, uh, so that I might create fine weapons and armor of war and defense. I'm here to reclaim the honorable standing of my family's name, and to have fun. All right. Next in the carriage. Sitting next to him is a strange avian fellow. Go ahead, Ronnie. Uh, <clears throat> I am playing um, Oswald Burt. Wait, 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 I forgot his name. Oswald for now. You can call him Ozzy. And uh, he is a sticky-fingered druid who has basically been kicked out of, well not kicked out, but chased out of every town um, 
for having such sticky fingers, and uh, he's just trying to get on the straight and narrow. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Luckily, Dokley. And next, we have a mysterious looking fellow in the back of the carriage. Go ahead, Lane. Uh, I am Bella Novin Lucia Bell. I am a rogue, uh, but not the traditional rogue. I more so try and battle people with words or parchment, kind of like a diplomat. But I do go into the no more normal rogue stuff if I need to. And my primary goal coming here from the Badlands is to uh, get my family out of there. All right. And next, <clears throat> seated next to that fine fellow, is another newcomer. Go ahead, Miss Universe. My name is Hakme Silvanask. I'm a Sifnevlin gnome from the Mauditar lands. I usually was known for appraising various medical artifacts, ancient relics. I, pr I appreciate such things. However, I have personal business in the Badlands. Long ago, one of my own nephews was lost there. I seek to find him, dead or alive. And hopefully I can do some good along the way. Dope. Alright. And seated next to them is an old friend. And one that you all know and ah, Vaughn will probably love. Go yeah. ahead, go ahead, Stir. <laughs> oh uh, my it, god, look at him. He's... It, it me, Stir, and I will be playing the character Gruff. Shout out to my boy John Silver for the art. It's not done yet. It'll be done probably next week. Uh, Gruff is a simple man who came, you know, from all over the world. He's fished everywhere. He is an accomplished noodler, which is one who wrestles catfish, and he praises the god Gazinarok so that Gazinarok can give him better fish to noodle, so that he can win competitions and fish all over the land and gain renown. He got so interested in fishing, in fact, he forgot all about his family and they all left. So now that he has nothing, he decided he would join this band of dudes, go to the Badlands and uh, fish in the Twilight Bay. Dope. If we had one more character archetype here, we could be the cast of Sonic Adventure. <laughs> You're so right, dude. Holy shit. Listen, I don't know who I don't know All who right. some of these people would be, but obviously Big the Cat. <laughs> Can I be Rouge? Oh no. I'm probably Rouge. I'm Amy. <laughs> <laughs> You're right? Alright, alright. So, now that we've done introductions, the day grows long and the sun is high in the sky. And up ahead, there is a call that we have finally arrived at your destination. I'll give you a few moments to RP amongst yourselves. Now, Ozzy is um, just kind of twiddling and staring at a, a gem. And he's, he's just twisting it around, playing with it, just staring at it. He just he occasionally makes a sound. Oh. Oi, oi. Lads, lasses, look. I think we're almost there. Take a peek out the window. <coughs> oh no, it looks like shite. Never mind, don't look. Hoot well, hoot, motherfucker! We are <laughs> starting from scratch. Helm, don't 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 be crass, Helm. This is a new place and we're going to be meeting a lot of people today. I would be helpful to find people, yes. I yeah. was skeptical, though. Well, I mean, that's all the caravans, right? Oh, I hope there's some dwarves. It's been so long since I've had a right and proper Krasex haggis. Mm, some fried mushrooms. It hasn't been hard travel, but boy, would that be nice. Who well, I don't. doubt there's going to be anything too fancy down here. <clears throat> what was it all the birds? There's more birds than people on this, this caravan. Uh, yeah, we well, obviously, you we can't. Are like, we are like half bird. Hoot, hoot. 
There's, there, it's three three right now. Oh, I, I ought to, I ought to warn you, Gruff. Uh, Helm here, he likes to, he likes to nest up in beards. So you know, watch yours. It'll be a right nasty surprise if you wake up and you've got some pellets in there. I'm a little bit of vision gun coming down on the left side of my face. Unlawful annex! Hoot! I, 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 I... Sorry, go on. No, you go, go, go. Uh, Helm, what did we say about the, the, coloni the colonizer comments? It's not okay. We're, we're not, we're not doing that. Hey, Gruff. Hmm. What do you think about owning a your own personal lake for fishing and noodling? Uh, dang, oh, no, my own fishing lake, maybe I'm bad to use and dynamite and fishing, just not having to worry about it in government, getting on my land. You know, I speak a lot of languages, but I don't speak whatever he's speaking. It's common. <laughs> Out of character, that was the one thing he said I fully understood. <laughs> no, he said that in character. <laughs> you gonna come on down to buy you, maybe you start understand what me and my folk be done talking about. Teach you what my people told me. Well, what's the bayou? Why am I Australian? It's like a swamp, but... but... <laughs> It's like a swamp, but <laughs> better. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, please, please say things, Ronnie. Uh, 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 he, he's not even kind of involved in your conversation. He notices uh, the uh, Hackney's in ethereal owl, and he kind of leans forward and tries to poke at it with his walking stick. <laughs> hoot hoot, I say. Well, I think I've heard Gruff speak a little bit, so I think I can speak to his liking. Even though it seems rather odd. My granddaddy always said that, you know, go back up for generations, we probably come from a fish. Yeah, dun dum, you know, my dad, granddaddy said he, gonna, he wanna go down fishing down there. Yeah. By the gods, there are two of them. Oh no, it's it's spreading. Well, it it, it, it down there that that bird spreading. You know, you just say go go to get with fish too much, and you get down in their language. Yeah. <laughs> and they were saying that the uh, never mind. All right, as <laughs> okay, sorry, and uh, uh, as the conversation I say with air quotes is continuing, um. The caravan comes to an abrupt start, as there seems to be a commotion coming from the front. This is, and you also hear the sound of a bell being chimed. Uh, this is an alert bell. As you are mercenaries, it is now time for you to act. That means there is trouble. Hey, hey there, Gruff, you hear that? There may be big fish down there. And there ain't gonna be no fish around here. Just look out for rabbits and get tired of... <laughs> Keep down the droppings. Well, looks like it's action time, boys and girls. All right. Hired as mercenaries. Outside, up ahead, you can see that one of the caravan carriages has been turned over. And is, you can also hear the screams of some of the people that have followed Galen on his caravan here. It seems that the caravan is under attack and requires your aid. Oh, I'm already regretting this. Well, what'd you expect? Uh, We're mercenaries to protect a caravan that is trying to make its own country. In the badlands of no less. And then get uh, behind Groove. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get way behind. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> Groove uh, and I don't agree on much, but I think we both like a good scrap. Well, I'm going to sneak around and see if I can <laughs> uh, uh, do some things. Penetrate! Ugly brutes. That's, stealth check. That's inappropriate. We're in mixed company. All right. Not very good stealth. The party moves ahead in order to meet whatever sort of trouble is at the head of the caravan. Okay, but but Ozzy drags his feet a great deal. Okay, that's fine. 
I'm gonna go hide behind the tree. People come running towards the caravan from the. What the fuck? Come running. Oh god, the people! Sorry. And it seems that the people are being chased by strange creatures. The creatures appear to be. fish people? No, no, this is not fucking this. happening. I trained my whole life for this. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all making fun of Grove bringing birds down here, but. I know how to handle fish. No, no, this is. this is a fucking joke, right? I mean. It is the Badlands. What did you expect? The creatures come chasing the people that come running past you, and they give out their war cries. (laughs) (laughs) Time to test your metal against dwarven metal. I don't think it's going to be very hard to test our metal against these things, especially with our dear dear fish master. Yeah. All right, in that case, the time for mercy has passed. There is only the time of glorious bloodshed. One moment, please, while I add you to the initiative. Can't we just go around? I'm in too much in Sakurai. Can't we just go go around? Go around. Oh, do you do the initiative roll for us? Okay. Yep. Bella Novin. I'm going to do an insight check first. Oh, it's too higher. All right, let me adjust that. I add my int, which is a plus five. I'll I'll adjust that on the token for the future. Okay, and yours is different by how much, Hackney? Uh, mine's my int modifier, so plus five. Plus five total? Alright. Adjusting. Okay. Please continue. Oh, I did an insight, but I rolled a nine. That does not reveal anything. I mean, although their their motives are pretty clear. Eat! Mm-hmm. Stab! You know, you, you never know. There could be something deeper. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to see what Mr. Gruff does. All right, Gruff. It's time to noodle. Thank you for this offer of gizzard and rock. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they allowed up to at least 300 pounds so I can complete my 300 pound challenge. I think you'd have to stack them together and they're not even 300 pounds. Uh, walk up. Oh, actually, no, you'd get, no, 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 you only get one, because it takes a reaction to use a readied action. So it'd probably be better if you, like, uh, total defensed as a standard, because you still get your attack either way. You'd only get one in either case, so you might as well get some defense bonuses. Total D. Raktor. (laughs) Let's get it done. Helm, stay with me for now. Just fly 20 feet in the air. And don't give me any of your off-color commentary, please. Hoot hoot! Death to the infidels! That's... Oh, no. Man, that sounds like a bird we're gonna have to put down. <laughs> don't... Come on, man. Alright, see then. Ugh. Oh, God, what is my voice? Ha <laughs> uh, I don't have a weapon drawn right now, which is unfortunate. God, do I miss having Warcaster. Uh, but I'm going to cast a sacred flame at these uh, foul heathenous fishes. Uh, this one. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that hits. Oh, wait a minute. I sacred thought, flames. I, yeah, I, thought, yeah, I was about to say, I think I roll a save. Yeah, you dexterity. Ooh, not today. RP dodge. (laughs) I'll get you next time, you slippery fish. Item interaction, draw Warhammer. Okay. 
Ozzy. <sighs> I guess I did say I was going to try and be on the up and up. <sighs> I'll do it. I'll help. Uh, <laughs> Ozzy will, with great effort, start flapping his wings and. Oh, oh, oh. He's going to go here and he's going to sit about 15 feet in the air, flapping. Oh. And um, he is going to uh, cast um, Magic Pepple on three pebbles. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's oh, his turn. Awesome. I'm sorry that that spell makes me laugh. All right. It's a good spell. It I is like a good it. spell. It is a good spell. Mm -hmm. Magic, Magic pebble. <laughs> All right, here we go. The Kuato Raiders. <laughs> Alright, Polar Master goes off. Give me a slap. Play it. No, we'll miss. Kuatoa Raider will attack you with disadvantage. And we'll miss. The flashing of steel as spear meets pike. <laughs> That's right, Gruff. Show him your war face. I'm doing a conundrum if they got feet and didn't count fish. <laughs> Just stick your arms in their mouth like you usually do. Hackney, it is your turn. Do, do what your heart tells you to, lad. Kill him. Goodness me. I'm going to cast Chill Touch and I'm going to let my owl give me the help action. So, me hit, smile. Which one, smile? Uh, let's this. Let's do this, boy. Okay. And let's make that radiant damage. Ah! And that will be my turn. Alright. Now, don't forget, your owl actually has to move next to the Matur to the bright advantage. Oh, it has to be adjacent to mm -hmm. an enemy? Yeah, yeah. yeah adjacent to an but enemy. That's, oh, I thought that's it gives why... me the help action to help aim, like uh, oh, it, normal. It does do that, but it, it does that by distracting the enemy, so it has to be next to the enemy to do that. It doesn't. Oh, have to never mind then. It doesn't have to stay next to them, though, which is the exact reason why everyone uses the owl. Yeah, because it can fly oh, up, do okay. it, and fly so out. Know, yeah. okay. Got it. So these never Kuto mind, come, come running up. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on, you gump shites! Alright, and this one will throw a net at Braktor. Oh, oh no! Oh no. Yes. Alright. Um. This is undignified. <laughs> He's restrained! It looks like the fish be doing the fishing now. Alright, that's it for them. Bellanovan. I'm gonna shoot a heavy crossbow at number four. And number four? Number four. Uh, that Dang. will... that will miss, unfortunately. D and D. And now, I wait. Did you stealth? Yeah. What'd you roll? I think it was a... Uh, let me scroll up. I got a 12. That's enough. So roll again. You have advantage. Okay. There you go. The, uh, you're a rogue, so don't... And sneak sneaky. attack. Yep. There you go. 14 damage as the crossbow bolt finds its mark. As it falls to the ground. Nice shot. Gruff. Thank you, lad. Look, I feel like a ham. I'm still not sure about his feet thing. Uh, bonus action, under smite. And then... Swing at his boy. Slam him. Uh, 
is not a slam. Yeah. Don't forget to add your uh, proficiency bonus, assuming you're proficient with your heavy crossbow, which you might actually not. Yeah, I forgot. I got you. Here, I'll update it for you. It's just plus two to hit, right? Yeah, it's plus two to hit. <clears throat> there you go. All right, uh, that's a 14. Uh, which one are you attacking? That one? All right, that one's going to hit. Go and roll me some damage. Uh, you got the Thunderous Smite still, right? Yeah. 19 damage. The Crack of Thunder. <coughs> As you are showered in fish parts. And just like my birthday. <laughs> Braktor, Iron Bellows. Uh, do I get the bonus action? Uh, Wait, no, never mind. Uh, uh, I already used one. Fractor. All right. You know, <clears throat> this was a lot funnier seven seconds ago. Uh, I'm going to drop my Warhammer somehow. Uh, draw my um, Battle Axe as a, uh item interaction. Yep. And uh, cut the shit out of this net. And then stand. Do I actually have to roll an attack? I forget how they just, I just have to deal like what? One or is it five? You have to deal one damage for these. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Fuck it. Okay. Let me see if I can hit the AC of a net. Oh, whoopsie daisy. I'm not impersonated. It's not going well. Charged. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, you know what? We're doing it live! Ha ha ha! I hit the net! Alright. You are no longer restrained as you cut away at the net. And I'm gonna stand. Ha ha! Ha ha! I bet you don't look so high and mighty now unless you have a second net. And, um... Get, uh, right up in this one's face. I'm good. Ozzy. <sighs> so Ozzy, who already looks absolutely sick of flying, uh, eases his way, flaps his way over here and stands on the top of the caravan. And is it? Uh, well, let's see. Where, where's it better? It doesn't really matter. Hoot, hoot. And uh, shut up. Death awaits the drowned walkers. And he uh, tosses a magic pebble at uh, quote quote this one, and uh, he is going to do that now. And he says, uh, "Yeah, this one. Sorry." Okay. And that'll hit for six. Huh. Hope you appreciate how much I'm helping here. Bonk. It will attack Gruff. And will miss. And it will attack Gruff. Finding purchase for nine damage. Gruff is stuck in the arm. Gruff, I've thought you've dealt with enough fish that you know their and movements and their me. habits. I'm, I'm not just, worried about you. I'm just surprised. Just wound. You're letting a fish get the better of you. Oh, I thought you were the fish master. Hack these silver hand. Silver mask. <laughs> Did you see when the lightning bolt blew oh, that other one up? The fish man <laughs> over there. Was, it, was it your lightning bolt? <laughs> Look, give the mouse some credit. Here. I didn't think I was a ham, but they disagree. And then I'm gonna use a chill touch on him. On this boy. Alright, another chill touch fires off, dealing 30. Jesus, 13 damage. <laughs> Creature starts to just ooze necrotic energy, pus boiling out of its eyes. <laughs> you think we'd be able to eat these things, Gruff? Not after that. If it I means mean, we can if eat you, it. If you want 
to eat them next time, say so in advance. But even then, I do not take you for kills, yes? I mean, it's just like freezing it up for later. Just have to heat it up right. in the sun. Kuatoa's going to throw a net at Gruff. I was born in a net. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's... I don't know what's true with you. Just assume everything is true. He doesn't seem like a man that lies. Uh, Dex, oof. Gruff is restrained. And I've returned. <laughs> and I've returned. <laughs> this I'm one more... will stab at Braktor. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on! Oh, you did. You chose to do that. Ow! Bellanova! And shoot my boner at number five. Okay. All right, your shot fires true as you stick another one in the neck. Don't worry, you may be trapped like a ham, but I won't let him hit you anymore. Uh, excuse me, I failed that net. Did somebody say ham? Yes, Gruff. our little dwarf friend is a ham right now. All right, Gruff. No, he is. I'm. I'm good. What can I do from in a net? Uh, you can attack with. No, oh, Gruff is in the net. You can attack with disadvantage, um, or you can attack the neck. If you have a slashing weapon and use your action to free yourself. Uh, Glaive is slashing, so I'll do that. All right. You. You don't. Yeah, you don't miss. All right. So there you go. But that does take your action to do that. Um, and then I should be able to use my bonus action to use the blunt yep. pull arm master attack. Yep, on... you can do that. I'll go for this low health boy. Give him a bonk. Oof. That's four damage. All right. You fucking hit him with the blunt end of the spear, and it goes through his, like, melted, half-melted eye. <laughs> See you in hell, motherfucker. <laughs> Whoa! Where did that come from? He he comes from wherever he comes from. Braktor. All right then. Uh, first off, I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Healing Word on Gruff. <laughs> oh God, I, this feels gross. Baby healing words. Oh, yeah, cleanse me in your divine light. Uh. Alright, uh, Al is going to descend 20. Uh, go and help me against this boy. Hoot hoot, and marked for death! Then fly up another, like, 10 feet. Ascend above the lesser beings! Uh, as I go, I will... Uh, pick up my warhammer again, and actually, I'll just leave it there. And I'll, I will just smash this boy in my in its face with my battle axe. I don't know what these. Ugh, gross. All right. A. Nine damage on this boy. I'm gonna just roll to see if I score that sweet crit. I didn't. <laughs> you didn't see that coming, did ya? Ozzy! <sighs> looks like he's just tired of fighting now. Uh, he, he tosses a magic pebble at uh, number three. <sighs> you fire off another magic pebble and it goes right through the creature's head. Boom. Headshot. Uh, hmm, let's see. I think Ozzy's going to uh, fly over here and land, and he's going to start rummaging through the body. <laughs> he's just not even waiting. Okay. Uh, okay. And that's I'm going to start cleaning that and use it for bait. I don't yeah, think he can use it for bait. He will attack Ozzy, who is stealing from his dead kin. Ah! For ten damage. Ow. Ah! Ah! They aren't playing.
laying around. Well, <sighs> you know what they say. Steal with your left hand, get your left hand cut off. Nobody's ever said that. Heck that dream yeah. is Who says noisy. that? <laughs> they say that in the Badlands. <laughs> that dream is awfully noisy. That tree. Oh, oh. I I'm not hidden right now. That tree is awfully noisy. You can see me. I can see you. I'm just talking trash because you just want to say about everything from back there. Hackney, your turn. Well, of course I can see everything. I'm observing. Patience is a virtue, my avian friend. And I'm going to have the owl descend. Oh boy, whoa, 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 whoa. And then come back and, and <laughs> <laughs> get out of reach again. Her owl's nice. My Ozzy... owl's an anarchist. <laughs> Ozzy tries and takes an, an opportunity attack against it because it scares him. Ah! What? Damn it. Owls don't do that. He can't get that from owls. He's he. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. He's flailing at it. Yeah. No, scared no, no, him. It scared no, no, him. Action. Oh, okay. You shot me again. Yep. All right. This, uh, this time. The entire head of the Kuatoa just kind of bubbles away. Oh, the timing on the music, too. Huh. Kind of wish I took that spell. The Kuatoa lay broken, uh, decimated, and it seems that the caravan is safe. I'm going to retrieve my bolts. A handsome man comes running up towards you. You moved the fish when you said that, and I was very concerned. And this man <laughs> appears. Uh, I moved the fish. <laughs> and you recognize him as Galen Gustavo. Oh, Ozzy runs up to him like with his fat gait, and then holds out his paws, hands, like holds him out like he's expecting money. <clears throat> he will approach. Are you I well? gently smack away your hand. Uh, are you well? Did anyone... Is anyone harmed? Oh, this, uh... I got a bit of a scratch in this, uh... This right plump Christmas turkey or whatever Christmas is. <clears throat> I could use a bit of patching up, but I got it. Oh, he'll put his hand to his chest. I was so concerned. I, I, I saw that the caravan was under attack. <laughs> My... My good friend Basco uh, told me that it was not worth taking mercenaries. But it's good to see that he was wrong. Uh, intuition, it seems, has paid dividends. But I wonder, where did these creatures come from? Probably from the lake. Or the river. Or whatever this is. I know that you have already done so much, but I... I do not wish for us to remain here if it is infested with these creatures. Could you perhaps investigate? Well, I'm pretty sure Gruff was going to do that without you saying anything. Yeah, well, I'm we do not I'm go know. find some fish. All right, you got it, sir. We'll, uh, we'll right and proper take care of the problem as short as my accent keeps changing. Uh, yeah, when do we get paid? Wait, wait, wait. So, you hired us as guards to the caravan, yes? Well, yes, of course. Now, that does that go along with investigating further beyond the caravans? Of course. Just making sure. <laughs> well, that checks out. Um, as we are now aware of danger, uh, and it has been tenuously some point the end of a long rest I'll activate my uh blessing in the forge and make my warhammer magical these two are playing stickies over here all right Galen will then uh well then I shall I shall round the caravan into a defensive perimeter until you return uh, thank you thank you so much all right and he will go on his way didn't even pay us she, just, she bats you on. Kid, quit hitting me. Why is there a children here anyway? Why is there a children? Yes, I behave far better than you do, but... Please, please make sure you heal your eight hit points. 
Oh. It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to lie to Ozzy and say, he said he would promise more stuff after we came back and investigated. Uh, insight check. All right. <laughs> Let's get this started. <laughs> deception. Roll deception. Come on. Yeah, one sec. Where is it? Who is the set? Who is the parent of this sassy small child? Oh, that seems pretty. That seems <laughs> that checks out. Aww. He will trust you reluctantly, <laughs> and he will cast a um, healing spirit, like right here, and then he'll just start walking back and forth and through it until he's full. Uh. Hmm. You were healed by Sean. Oh, yep. was I? Yeah, for eight. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. Never mind, I no don't worries, do that. No worries, you're good. Oh, friend Graf, you appear to be dirty. Hold on, let me assist you. I cast Prison Digitation and just <laughs> remove all of his hard work. And what are you doing? Once we start smelling like the fish, will never see us coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, hold I on. I gotta, I gotta step in here. As you cast Press Digitation to clean Gruff, uh, the magic attempts to pull the fish mucus away, but it is absorbed into him. You cannot remove that which is his <laughs> essence. There's that about is, four I don't... layers you're going to have to get through. <laughs> I, I don't well, think it's so much that he's uh, he's gotten dirty, Hackney. I think he's carefully curated a, a legacy of dirt and grime. He's basically a fish himself at this point. I'm protected by the guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what we'll call it. He wishes to be a fossil, yes. Oh man, this is gonna not be a fossil. God some... above, if only they could protect me from the smell. All right, everybody, get some guts on you. We're gonna go find more fish. I'm not getting any guts on me. Hold on, I I have a solution for you. I cast a presentation onto him to make him smell like smell like what? Fish. Oh. Like these guys, but alive. Oh, you smell pretty good. Don't touch me. Oh. Well, let, let's get on. I want to get... Uh, I want to go hoot, to hoot. bed. With each passing day, there is only death and the endless void. Ah! And he starts swinging his, his walking stick at it. Shut Helm, up! Helm, behave. C come on now, you're better than this. Ah! Hoot, hoot. Apologies for the week. Well, okay, that may be true, but that doesn't make it polite. Ooh, you burn beard bug. Me and me ma. Uh, yes, please take care of that. How does how does the bird remind you of his your mother? No, he's hooting. <laughs> that is that has raised more questions <laughs> than it has given answers. We're going I after think... them fish people, or what? We're supposed to. Let's just... Stealth check. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> Disadvantage just disappears. Allow, sure. allow me to make a stealth check with disadvantage. Wow, okay, never mind. Alright, would you like to it... investigate? Yes. In the area. Alright, roll me investigation checks. Investigating. I lay on hands myself. I yeah, I'm pretty investigative. All right, so you you disappear and reappear with your head Help. into the ground. You breathe uh. deep of the earth, and you know exactly where they've come from. And and there they they grew. I know where they be. Yeah. They've been down yonder. Go get them. No way. What do you mean no way? And no way you didn't figure that out and then they came from the water, you know, some kind of city slicking jingle. I never said they down there gonna come down water, you know you know what I'm talking about. I said they're gonna down that there, there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to follow the trail? Okay, let me Yeah. Okay. Do I have to do another stealth check? <laughs> no. It's fine. Alright. The party follows the trail, and it leads to the southeast. There you can see evidence of the overturned cart, uh, along with also the uh, the horses that have ran free of it. Actually, you can't because it's invisible. One second. There it is. Nice. 
Oh. <laughs> you can see that this is where the attack occurred, and a very quick search reveals a place that you believe the Kuatoa to have come from. For just off the coast, embedded into the canal, you can see what appears to be some sort of sunken building. I'll zoom out so you guys can see it. Ooh, her eyes light up right away. Listen, uh, I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to be stereotypical here, but uh, I'm not a fan of swimming. I am big fan, so long as it includes ruins, yes? Well, I guess they're ruins, but not the typical kind. Well, as long as I don't get ruined. Just let the two... Yes, that do you, okay. The two overzealous ones <laughs> go first. There is ruin in the capitalist agenda. I come, come, come now! Don't, don't, don't Down with the bourgeois! Me. Does that make your bird a socialist? Don't, don't judge my bird. I mean, that's I'm like not... asking me not to judge a parent by what his child says. I didn't do this. You're the one that owns it. Look, I summoned him from the Feywild. They're in here. They have can't, an inherently. Can't you summon a new one? L listen, don't. I mean, I can, but it costs ten gold. That's like and, saying, um, "Oh, I have this disease, but and I have look, the cure right beside me, but I, I like this okay, disease, but it's not my off, fault." First off, that would take seventy minutes. Secondly, <laughs> if I pay money to resummon a capitalist bird, well, why don't you he wins. That bird? So, you're saying you're in a feud between your own familiar that you summon, saying if you resummon a new one, he wins. Yes, uh, because he's... It sounds like you're not the master in this situation, uh, if I'm being honest. Me. I am not proving the inherent flaws of capitalism by this bird by paying to replace him. Okay, so... I send out bird to investigate. So, there, so there, are, there are ruins here that are sunk beneath... Uh, the surface of the water and into the canal. Some pieces kind of jut above the water, but much of it is sunken. As you get closer, you can see that there are all sorts of crevices, caves, and, well, who knows what else beneath the water. But, undoubtedly, you will have to swim to investigate. I want to swim so mm. bad. Is there, any, is there any sitting above the water? Like I said, some parts of it jut above the some. water. But okay. nothing that you can enter. It's just like the tips and and tops of the of the uh, ruins. Mm. I mean, I'll f I'm yeah. gonna fly over and just kind of perch up here and look down. All right, let me know what you find down there. Oh, I'm checking this... here for some blue cat. This reminds me of an old tale about. Uh... A bunch of dwarven pirates that lit themselves on fire like the gobshites they were. Well, I'm going to wait out here until I actually need to get in the water. I'd rather not get wet. Oi, Bert. Make yourself useful. Check it out. Is that not, friend? Even if you get wet, I can make you dry, yes? Uh, However, I'm... I function better at a distance. Exactly. It's better we not use things we don't need to. I use an action to look through my bird's eyes and just have them search around the place. The eyes reveal, Hoot Hoot, that there is naught but the ruined arrogance of those that came before. There is naught but fractured stone and drowned ambition. You know, you know, I agree to this. I just, I agree to this. Who was under these rocks? All right, well, as you get to about this point, you're going to have to start swimming. You're, like, waist deep right now. I'm swimming. All right, you got to swim to investigate? I'm going to swim to investigate. All right, is anybody going with Gruff? I'll, nope. I'll go mm, in with him. I'll... All right, do you keep All your right. armor on? I don't. I'm a wizard. It's just easier to walk on the bottom. Do I see any fish around? 
Uh, how long does it take to no, you dawn do and doff no chainmail? It's like a minute. Chainmail is like a minute, and if you have assistance, yeah. Yeah, I'll 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 take off the chainmail. Can I make an investigation check to see if it's worth my time? I. I'm <laughs> gonna <laughs> only you can judge me. that. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna make an investigation check. Okay. I'm gonna preemptively put on mage armor on myself. And I'm gonna look. Oh. Hey, hey guys, if you're taking off gear and stuff, I'll, I'll watch your stuff. Just put your stuff over here, I'll, I'll watch it for you. I mean, I'm gonna be here too. Come on. What do you mean, come on? Nothing. Uh, do mm -hmm. I roll for investigation myself? No, if you're going, just go down All with right. them. Ugh. Okay. Remember, everyone. Uh, in case of an emergency, a dwarf's beard can be used as a flotation device. You're not tall enough to be talking above water, little man. <laughs> well, you know what I have to say to that? Burble, burble, burble. All right. As the three of you are investigating, I will now transfer you to a new map. Bloop, 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 bloop. You know, I like how one of the two people that didn't come on this little underwater adventure with us is the one that could turn into a fish. Oh, yeah. no, I can't, actually. Not, not yet. Level enough. <laughs> I like how everyone made fun of me for being a fisherman. Don't worry, if I could be a <laughs> fish, I wouldn't. Look, no one could have seen this coming. Uh, so Arcadum could have. Alright, as you dive down, uh, are you guys loaded? Yep. Uh, I'm I'm still loading, but I can see the map on the on the stream. So you know whatever. All right, as you dive down below the water, you find yourself uh, on the cusp of a set of ruins. You can see that there are twisting paths through the uh, through the stairs, uh, through the various stairs, uh, through the sunken in roofs, and well, all over the place. Uh, roll me investigation checks in order to find uh, well somewhere to go, I guess. Hey, I'll try doing that. I have wisdom. Wait, investigation is wisdom or int? Uh, I think it's uh, intelligence int. by base. I, I also have an int. As the party investigates, swimming around, Hackney, you think that you see something over here. There seems to be some sort of underwater tunnel over there. I point it out to them, and I start swimming in that direction. Burble, burble, thumbs up. All right, you guys reset your breath counters by breathing in a big gulp. And uh, we should probably tell the others if we're right. going swimming. Re re very relevant. I have the origin to breathe underwater for an hour. Oh, you have uh... the oh, oh, okay. one wave bay oh, one. Yeah. Cool. All right, cool. Yeah, it's really cool. All right. It actually came up in a campaign. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, so you don't have to go back up for it. You're just chilling on the bottom in your armor going... Your name's Griff. <laughs> Surely this is a cursed voyage. Alright, do you go back to tell the others or do you investigate the tunnel? Probably... Okay. Oh, you're just going? <laughs> well, shit, I can't let you die. I was born for this. Alright, I'll... I'll pop back up to the top and be like, Oh, there's a tu <clears throat> There's a tunnel down here, and we're checking it out! Uh, if you're coming, you're coming! And then I'll head down. Alright, the three of you follow the tunnel. Uh, does, uh, what are your con scores? Uh, mine's a 12. 14. All right, you guys got plenty of con, and Gruff has an origin special, so he's fine. All right, eventually you find your way through, and you come out the other end of the tunnel 
and you find yourself in an underwater cavern. There's a short distance to the top, and as you break the surface of the water, you can see that there are two noticeable paths uh, to the north and to the east, respectively. Man, this map looks great. You did a great job. <laughs> Sneaking suspicion. We should get our friends, yeah? Man, I'm scared of getting wet. <gasps> if we're going that's to strange. run into something unsavory, that's probably for the best. Yeah, just a show the way, you know. I'll wait here. They deserve to earn the coin. Especially that bird there, if they are so insistent, yes? I don't understand right, the goddamn word. <laughs> All right, look, I don't, I don't know what's gotten in the helm. They're usually not like this. Oh, you mean the other bird? Not your, not your owl, no. Oh, okay, cause you see, it could go either way. I mean, don't know what's gotten into that thing. It is phase, I know. All right. Well, you find yourself at the edge of the water, and inside of the cavern up ahead, you can see a strange bit of green goo that's glowing brightly. It seems to have been collected in a small stone bowl. Uh, it seems to be the light used down here. May I use some sort of nature check to figure out what that is? Sure. Lore wizard. Uh, that is a glowing, that is a glowing algae that can be found in the Sicken Sea. Many of is the sea, it? many of the seafaring races use it in the placement and the replacement of torches. Nice. I relay this to the party. Got it. Another... Gross light. Sorry. Gross, you may say yes, but I find it useful. Either way, we should go back and collect them before we press onward. Oh, yeah. Sounds, uh, sounds like a plan. I'm going to head out, perch up, and I'm going to scream. Either you well, come and gone. collect or no loot, yes? Well, Bracta already screamed at us, but I didn't know if that meant we could move or not. Oh, yeah, 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 you guys can move. Are you guys going? Oh, you guys I, would, working? I would have been, I, I was waiting for Arcadum to say, oh, are you going to okay, go sorry. or something? All right, all right, yeah, all right. So you're already there. So on your way back, you're going to just see, uh, do you take your armor off, Bill and Oven? No. It's okay. only stunned in leather armor. Oh, well, all right. Uh, you see Bell and Oven swimming down below, below the surface. What about you, Ozzy? <laughs> Yeah, Ozzy, now that he's seen that they haven't drowned, he'll, he'll, he will go. Oh, God. All right. So this is what you see, Hackney. Please have one of mm -hmm. them grab my socialist bird. It's too late for that. Someone uh, grab Birdie Sanders. Birdie Sanders? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't... Oh, I, my I, God. I, that's, oh my... That, that's not... That's too topical. Yeah, that's All right. not anyway, a anyway, as... on him. It's just a pun. Anyway, as Hackney... Uh swims out the other side you can see that Bellanova is is swimming down uh you know like pretty basically but god ozzy looks ridiculous his his wings are I, in the way he's <laughs> fucking <laughs> i look like that baby on the nirvana album uh <laughs> never mind that, that that's what he looks like swimming like a fat baby <laughs> 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 She just nods and she swims away very so, uh, slowly. He's like desperately grasping at, at um, so, uh, Elanovan's feet. Bit, I, I kick off his then. hands so he can't grab cool it. Then, was it. What? No, nothing. I'm just making reference to Nirvana over here. Ah, never mind. <laughs> um, right. No. Uh, uh, Ozzy then begins shaking the water off like a dog next to everybody. I'm gonna put my blinking into the water. I don't want any of his <laughs> germs on me. I'm gonna put my armor back on. 
I'm gonna do a stealth check since we're inside now. Ozzy's pruning his wing feathers. Also, you notice that his onesie looks a little bit cleaner now. I yeah, collect. Gross. All right, you you collect you you. I you, collect. You collect enough of the goop that you have a torch on a stick now. I now collect. I have to rub my glaive on it. All right, now you have a glowing glaive. I don't feel the need to touch that. No I'm gonna. Very good. I'm gonna investigate. Can I check to see if it's poisonous if eaten? It isn't. Although okay. you probably shouldn't eat it. It's, you know. No, I'm not eating it. I've <laughs> clearly had it before. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, up here, you can see a bunch of waste. This is like old, discarded, ragged clothing uh, and fish shit. Gross. Oh my I'm gonna god. Uh, peek around like this corner. Trying to yeah. dress like people. Ozzy's gonna poke at it with his stick and see if he can find anything of value in the pile. Nothing of value can be found. They're in hmm. our society, dressing up like us, acting like us. That caravan leader could be one of them. Doubtful. What are you talking about? The clothes. What? They walk among us. Are you one of them? Gruff, they do not have the intelligence to even be I, close I'll, to as that. As a paladin, I'll sense evil to see if any of my party members are fish. Alright, you sense evil. You detect no fish. For now. Yeah, my sworn enemies don't get you yet. <laughs> uh, listen, I, I can detect, you know, different animals. I, I can sense them, you know. I have a way with Your creatures. You're on their side. <laughs> we, what? No, you we eat them! It's like being a people. Wow. I don't... I don't uh, know wait. what's... I don't know who to side with morally here. What, what are you? I thought you were some you kind of bear. Don't, don't no. side with neither of them, that's alright. Smart lad, right there. I gently mm -hmm. pat him on the head. Thank you, thank you. Kadem, can you turn up stir, please? I have him uh, on I'll, maximum I'll blast. I'll turn me up when I can. Oh, God. I have Be him careful. the highest he can go. Like I have him on 202. No. <gasps> We're going to... I didn't know. One day down the line, Gruff is going to take one level of Cleric solely to get the Thaumaturgy cantrip. Thaumaturgy so good. <laughs> imagine you just get Magic Initiate, though. Imagine this... Imagine this voice... Multiplied ten. My times. name's Grove. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's 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 much better. All right, I'll move forward into this room. And yeah, what's the little baby boy doing going first? And I'm gonna make a perception check. All right, as you enter this room, you can see that there is a large hole in the middle of the floor, and you can see more of the refuse. You can see that there are uh, scraps of clothing, fish shit. You can see what appears to be some kind of training area with arrows, and there's blood all over the arrows. You can see that there's a few sleeping areas, and there is a large bowl in the northern air, uh, northern side of the room. I'm going to sneak up to the bowl. Okay. And investigate it. As you move up towards the bowl, and you look inside, I need you to make me a religion check. Okay. <gasps> the religion check reveals to you that this is a, divin a diviner's bowl. It is used to see the future, or so they say. Hmm. I'm gonna whack, walk back over, and I'm gonna whisper to Gruff in his native tongue. Hey, there, there, Gruff, you go speak in that bowl, you can see where them there fish are. 
I don't know when I fish out them. You gotta keep going ahead. All right, whatever you say, keep going there. And then I'm gonna. He doesn't want to use the bowl, so I'll go talk to Miss Universe or mm. Acne. Well, Gruff doesn't seem to want to use the bowl, but that's a divination bowl, so. I don't her have any use for it right now. Behind her mask, as she just. Well. I look at this. That was quick. Don't don't let the kid touch stuff. Uh, I'd rather not let you touch stuff, Ozzy. I'm made out of magic. All right, that religion check reveals to you uh, that he was in fact correct in his original di diagnosis. Uh, however, it seems that the magic in the bowl is rather faded. You believe it to only really have one use remaining before it needs to be, uh, the ritual needs to be reperformed, and you have no idea what that ritual could be. Is there any means to choose a specific vision, or can you just do it and then you see what? Well, you have a choice. You could choose to see a specific vision, or you could choose to repeat the last vision mm. that the caster used. What? What does it do? Don't worry about it, Ozzy. I don't want. We Hackney have a can choice. tell you. Either we see the last vision that these fish people saw, and perhaps understand what the intent and motivation is, or we can try and see something else. Oh, oh look for treasure! Know. Treasure! Find out where the biggest no. fish is around here. No. Where's it at? I thought you said you knew where the biggest fish was, Gruff. I think, I think for the sake of the caravan, it would be uh, beneficial for us to know what they were looking at. If we find treasure, it's going to be even more beneficial. We'll get more money than just whatever the measly pay they'll give us. That doesn't make sense, because if we lose the caravan, <laughs> then we lose all of our money. I look at the last vision before these numbskulls mess it up. I'm not a numbskull. All right. <laughs> she sees she's doing it. She's looking for the fish. All right. As you look at the last vision, it seems that whoever was using this bowl before was spying something. And that something was a sunken ship, or rather a ship run aground alongside a southern beach. It seems that the bowl reveals that it is close by. Uh, perhaps within a few miles. But what is perhaps more interesting is that that ship had some very curious passengers. You can see that the passengers are all wearing black robes with blue masks. And the beach was lined in silver and gold. Treasure! And large white stone tablets. Oh Do I know what this place is? Do you know what this place is? or Yeah. Like where the ship has run aground at? Pretty much. Uh, two miles to the south. Okay. I know where this place is. We can find them. Uh, did we see the vision or is it just Hackney? Everyone. Everyone saw it. She just activated oh, it's it. It's treasure! Yes, tread. Oh, ships, gold, silver. Oh, God, I don't much care for silver. Wasted your but... one wish to find a boat. You that was know where it is. That wasn't a wish. <laughs> it, it's uh, it's probably still prudent to do a uh, to do a quick sweep of this place before we go uh, hunting for ships. She what? glides her fingertips over the edge of the bowl, thinking. Come on, Gruff, go s smell out the other fish in here. There's probably more. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, me, I'll show you where them fish are. I'll find them real fast. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to, uh, as we're walking, I will actually be smelling for fish because I have scent of 60 feet. Cool. You smell them everywhere. <laughs> I'll blow That's... a huge fart back at you. <laughs> <laughs> I smell that, too, and I am kind of okay with it. I bet you can't guess what I ate. Uh, I'm going to make a, 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 a guess right now. Did you eat fish? Yeah. Was it fish, mate? I ate fish. Well, we all, I guessed it. I must be some kind of genius. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's bloody get on with it. At least you've been validated. What kind of fish? Mackerel. Mm, perch. It's definitely perch. Now is one of those people we just killed. I ate a little bit. <laughs> I don't believe you. I would have saw it. You know, I'm, I'm go. I'm going with the long bomb. I believe him. Almost like a hand master. <laughs> it hadn't been five hours though. It would have. It would have taken five hours for you to fought that particular fish person. <laughs> All right, you guys move forward. What's yeah. going on? All right, all right. You moving? As you move up to here, you can see that your uh, your path splits into two choices: northwest or southeast. Can I can I investigate for any like tracks or anything? Um, there are. That's not really quite possible here. It's just gotcha. Wet stone floor of the cave doesn't really leave many tracks. <clears throat> Hi. I propose we hug the left, yes. Yeah. That way we do not get lost. Everybody knows this is the right hand rule. What are you doing to this left and home stuff? Left is right. You go left to go right. And not yeah. to go left, yes. I I think we follow Gruff the fish master, because uh, this is probably the most useful he'll ever be. Fish always swim to the right. <laughs> Give me ten minutes, I can look for, I don't know, live fish or plants or something. Alright. As you move down the southeastern path, up ahead, you can see an old wooden door, warped from moisture, and it doesn't, uh, even though it is pretty solid looking, it does not look in very good repair. I bet you have to charge down that door in one swoop. But why do you want to charge down the door? Do it. Oh, you just some jealous as you can't do it. Jealousy why has not nothing just... to do with it. Oh, let me see you do it, strong man. I, I little skinny arms. You know, this, isn't, like... this isn't about whether I can do it or not. This is about why. I gently push it open. Door. <laughs> why should we be running into it? <laughs> I once bit blue cat's head I, clean off just to I see how I could. I don't care about your cat's head. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here then. <laughs> How's the door going? Alright. As you push on the door, you see something uh, a little disturbing. As you push on the door, it groans open. <laughs> And on the other side, you see what I could only describe as large, viscous, flesh sack cocoons hanging from uh, from the ceiling of the cave on long, like, like biomassed, I don't know, growth, like rope growth, like, you know, kind of like they're stuck and they're just kind of hanging. But what makes it very disturbing is that these eggs or whatever they are have been hatched. And all over the ground, there are these strange bodies. They appear to be half crab, half man, and all of them seem um, improperly formed, like an experiment gone wrong. My god. We found crab. baby chamber. Let them sleep, yes? I close the door. That's what I was saying. They're trying to become like people. <laughs> they're putting on our clothes. They're getting in I... our society, and they're trying to be like us. I hate that you are so adjacent to correct. Well, I think it's pretty easy to tell a fake fish person from a normal person. Oh no, once they grow up and their gills start to go in their necks, they hide it in their scruff and you'll never know. When was the last time you've seen one like that? Help me! A voice comes from the other side of the door. Hold well, that thought, pretty boy. We got no damsel in distress situation. Do I recognize here. <laughs> the voice? Uh, you do not recognize the voice, but it's coming from the other side of the door that you just closed. We, we should probably help them. I have a yeah. feeling this is a trap. Well, I mean, if we're it's gonna help them. It's probably the people, yes. The baby is beyond the door. 
They probably hear us bickering and just want us to get in there. So you guys can go first. I'll wait around the corner. Well, I mean, uh, if we're going to help them, it's probably going to be with a swift blade to the black back of the neck. I I mean, I can keep watch or come in when you guys need help. I uh, cheer for a sunshine. All righty, then. You want to do this, fishman? Yeah, that's what I'm talking from gruff. <laughs> what? He said that's that enough talking, talking for gruff. gruff. You a bunch of little pansy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting in there. <laughs> gruff, you should already know by now. I understand you. I thought I was watching YouTube. <laughs> I just got. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Now he can swear. <laughs> oh, he can't he bleep. All right. Yeah, exactly. That it, the swear is implied. The socialist <laughs> government shutting me down, not even letting me say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm the political one. <laughs> can can he say that word? All right. As you. <laughs> well, he certainly can in the Badlands. As you walk through the door, inside you find the eggs are hatched and that there are bodies everywhere and you hear another voice calling out help me um i believe i have an actual torch in my explorer's pack is it like watered um all right i don't see i don't see anything. probably had it in a seal or something that's fine i mean you could also just dry it out with uh it was in my tackle box. It's waterproof. Oh, there you go. Got him. I'll All take right. that out and light a match and start waving around and looking around, trying to scare things away with the the fear of fire. I'll wait by the door I, here. I look up at the ceiling to see if any of the cocoons have not hatched yet. All of them have hatched. There's none that mm. are that are unhatched. Okay. As you move the torch around the room, trying to investigate what's happening, uh, something shines <laughs> in the back of the room. Uh, basically in these these like discarded rags and all of that and you see that there is movement it's probably one of them one of them fish people yeah, gotta go get them go we'll check it out and make sure it's not a fish turned into a person yeah person fish were you I... born a human me? No. Hey, Hackney. Where do you think his morals are between human and fish? What if there is a, a fish man? Most likely he kills them, yes? Yeah, it makes sense. Well, I mean, we just killed like four of them. Um, Those weren't I men. I suspect oh, I... even tritons he'd kill. Oh, I, uh, any uh, wee little youngin in here? You're calling for help. All right, as you look around, you can see that there is one of the of the corpses that seems to be moving, breathing uh, heavy and ragged. You can see that it is uh, a human. Uh, however, unfortunately, the human is somehow alive, as it is only an arm, a chest, and a head. The rest of it is completely gone, chewed away by unseen teeth. Help! Me. Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna try an Arcana check on it to see if magic is somehow involved in this. Never mind. Me try too. What in tarnation? The... All right. As you investigate the area uh, where the injured person is, uh, the person reaches out, just barely with a hand. Me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna j just drop a cure wounds on it just to see if that does anything. As you drop a cure wounds onto the creature, uh, some of its meat seals and its open wound kind of grotesquely produces membrane. It doesn't really seem to have had much effect. Something is keeping this personage alive. 
and it isn't by anything natural. The Arcana check reveals that this is definitely the result of a magical force, but not through any spell. Um. Uh, however, Gruff, your detect evil begins to go off on its own. The presence of something so vile that your paladin senses tingle. I suspect trap. Hold on, guys. I'm tingling here. As you uh, as you look at the the person's corpse, you can see that they are not, in fact, alive at all. They're just speaking like some sort of puppet. And on the back, you can see a strange, black, veined growth. I, I see the, the, the magic robed kid backing off. I'm like, oh, all right. They know something does I the, don't. Um, oh, welcome back over here. Does the uh, 17 medicine uh, tell me anything about this? Ugh. Uh, yes. It seems that the growth uh, is also not fully developed. It actually kind of looks like a, an infection of some kind. Thankfully, it I'm, seems to be half dormant and weak. I'm, I'm glaving him. Or All her. Right. All right, you, you stab down into the into the strange corpse and and black veined growth, piercing it with your blade. It is destroyed, and the corpse returns to un well to corpse dumb, I guess. However, as you stab it, there seems to be a magical repulse that kind of shimmers out, and something falls from the back of the room. A strange white marble tablet, which is not unlike just a simple square cylinder of white marble with a tip, a, a pyramid-like tip. But it breaks open, and you can see that there is something inside. Um, before anyone really touches it, I would like to try and cast Identify on it so that we don't get ourselves cursed. I'd be careful there, lass. Ah, just, just go touch it. Actually, I'm going to cast Detect Magic first. As you cast Detect Magic, you can see that it is not magical. Okay. Um, I'm going to look over it very carefully, make sure that there isn't um, some sort of like trap, or is it like connected to anything? No. Oh god, just pick the thing up. God dang. I pick it up. I just let her do her thing, lad. She knows what she's doing. Um, I inspect it closely. Is there any sort of um, check that I can make to make sure that I know what this is? As you pick it up, you're able to identify that this was once magical. It is some sort of container, and it was magically sealed. On the front, there are runes that you do not recognize. And inside, you can see that there is a black, sort of viscous film that covers whatever the inside was, leading you to believe there was once something inside this, but it is now gone. I cast Comprehend Languages and I try and read the runes. You are unable to read the runes. Oh no, it's one of these. One of what now? You know what this is? I know what I know. It's trouble because you don't know what it is. They yes. don't make things unreadable unless they're important. That's I not have true. Theory. Likely, whatever this was was what was inside this jar. I can make cipher codes that no one else understands. It doesn't mean it's trouble. Yeah. That's kind of a weird humble brag right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course that doesn't mean trouble. Strange right. flex, but okay. Yeah, we just go continue on to find out who's behind this vile evil going down in these caves. You heard? Yeah, that, that, I mm -hmm. guess. Wait, you, you're going. Yeah, okay. Uh. What did I get myself signed up for? Not sure. 
Must right, I'll, be. I'll, I'll move you guys. All right, you come to another break. There is a passage to the north that curves towards the east and a passage to the west. However, the passage to the west, you can see that there is a small set of ponds with lily pads and, surprisingly, fireflies. Oh, I do not believe my eyes with all of these fireflies. I remember that folk song, and that's not how it goes. It is now. Gruff remembers when we agreed to hung the right wall. I, I I don't remember any such promise. Is oh, there well. A, All right. I, As you approach the uh, small ponds, you can see that they are filled with brilliantly colored fish. I, I, I lean over the edge and try swiping at them to catch one. Okay. Gruff, make me a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> what? Hey, Gruff. Hey, Gruff. How embarrassed I am for him. <laughs> that was the most disturbing, disgusting display of noodling you've ever seen in your entire <laughs> life. Not only was he limp wristed, he he swiped at the surface of the water. It's like he's afraid to go into it. Oh my god, you goddamn bird, you don't even understand. The, the water and bends the light and you gotta get in there really understand. Now Gruff isn't right? even sticking to his own rule. Oh, Oh, get me a, get me a good, good, get me a big one. Give What's the point fish. of listening to anyone anymore? I'm gonna get you the biggest. Fish What's the point of rules? Game. Gruff, first oh, of all, uh, you see that the water is filled with brilliantly colored fish. Uh, basically, think like a koi pond if you've ever seen one of those. Oh God, these fish ain't even worth catching. These are fish you put in front of the courtyard when you're a king or an emperor or something. See if any of them's female. Might might have some good eggs in it. While he's busy noodling, I'm gonna sneak up north. Okay. <laughs> Make me an investigation check since you're uh, noodling, Gruff. <laughs> okay. Noodle check. I'm just gonna look around the room to see if there's anything else of interest beyond the pot. I'll uh, I'll keep guard at the entrance. All right, Gruff. These fish, these fish are kind of too easy. They kind of swim up into your hands. Ugh. Mm -hmm. uh, Hackney, as you investigate, you can see something very strange. Um, you see that some of the fish seem to have glistening white substances in their mouths. Before oh. you recognize, they have pearls in their mouths. Um, first, before I freak out, is there any specific type of breed of fish that I know does this normally? Yeah, maybe nature check. There are all kinds of marine life in the Sicken Sea. There are kinds that have never been discovered by any race that records its history. You have no idea, but you're not really surprised. I sit down, I take out my parchment, and I start to sketch the fish. I'm telling you here, these are rich people fish. You give one of these to that Galen guy, he'll probably give you a handful of gold. Oh, We'd like me to capture them alive, yes? Somehow. I mean, you don't understand the ecosystem going on down here. You can disrupt it and just take in one fish. I also don't know if we have anything to really carry them in. I got this tackle box. Bella Novin, as you move your way towards the north, uh, did you make a stealth check? Make a stealth check. Uh, I made a stealth check at the very beginning down here. I don't know if I have to make another one. This is a new area, so you're going to have to. Okay. All right. You move up around the corner, and you can see that it continues to the east. You can see that it turns here to the north, and you can also see that it turns, when you go further to the east, that it turns to the northeast. However, you can also hear voices coming from the north. 
It me, Groof. <laughs> I'm gonna inch my way forward to try and see the voices, but not get seen. All right. It's me, Groof. Wait, to Gruff see the voices? Everywhere. To see the sources of the voice, you mean? Yeah. And make sure I don't get seen when I'm looking for them. I want to smell the voices. All right, as you get closer, uh, closer, you see the following. I'm gonna guess from their mannerisms they're talking about some sort of martial scuffle. Now, was the f bomb a direct translation, or they did? Did they just happen to have a different word that sounds exactly like that? <laughs> like fucking Sharon. And then I'm gonna go back to the groove to tell them about what I saw. All right, tell them. Hey, Gruff. Hey, there's some more food there up there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurry. I'm gonna get them fish. Let me just grab one of these. Yeah. How about how how about next time we actually sit down on a right hand rule and they're going down there left? I've got to get in here because you fools coming here trying to. I know uh, no, that was only that was only one field out there, there big bird yeah, man. No, you know right, he no, trouble. Right, Don't let him burn me. Grab one of these. They got them pearls in their mouths. For everyone else that may not be <laughs> understand, uh, there's uh some fish man up there up ahead that we should uh, probably well, take care have, of. You don't have to say it again. We heard you to him first time. I know you heard me the first time. I think everyone else isn't quite aware of your tongue yet. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting like every uh, third word. Dang. I am <laughs> doing important business. How uh, far along in my sketch am I? Uh, you're pretty good at it, so you're probably already like. I'm, I'm done. grabbing one out of the water. I'm All right, to add it to my list of discoveries, and hey, I move you on. pick up one of the lazy fish. You see that there is a pearl in its mouth. I have fishes going in my pocket, dude. Okay, you shove a fish in your pocket. It can't breathe, so it is slowly dying in your pocket. Oh, you were getting me a fish. That's fine. We should, instead of taking one now, we should take one on the way out, so that we take it in alive. Yeah. I don't need it alive. The gruff is probably trying to eat it alive. later. She'd probably right next to that. We come back bag. later for new Come fish. get on the way back and bring back line. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna begin and pay me 10 million doubloons. Put the fish back. I don't, okay. I don't think doubloons are a currency, but alright then. What do you think we should name this fish? Do I you're asking me? Um, In general. They produce pearls from their mouths, potentially. Just call them pearlers. Yeah, some like no, no. ball mouth diggler. <laughs> well, let's not call it that, because um, that's that's what a man pays a droven woman fifty gold to do on a desperate Friday night. Oh, I've never paid that much. About that. Yeah, well, you're not a dwarf. Uh, I. I, um, using my herbalism kit, I, I, uh, I'm looking for medicinal herbs here. I got a, a 17 on investigation. Okay. I think, I think fish keys. It means pearl tongue in my tongue. Fish skis. Fish keys. You know, keys? I like it. Well, what are you going to do naming fish some nobody can even pronounce? <laughs> <laughs> Just, just go to Bone Mountain and just get going on. For what it's worth, lass, uh, 
I know you're not uh, as eloquent as our friend Graf here, but I appreciate the name. She pats him. I could care less for the names of fish, to be honest. Uh, you find some medicinal herbs. She waves a finger at you. Don't be waving at me now. <laughs> the deserves this finger waggling. Knowledge no, is it's... very important. Naming things is very... How else I... would we know how to differentiate differentiate ourselves from each other after all Let's have a, a cycle. Well, you name there's it. not many times i need to talk about the millions of fish in the sea so i then you are not having worthwhile conversations friend uh fish are the last of my worries i'll make you know, you know i appreciate her company she's polite in a way that tells you to go screw off well, yeah. I've lived in the Badlands, so I've had many people tell me to screw off in much worse terms. And bird boy, uh -huh. go kill fish. Uh, yes, but if you're a dwarf, politely telling someone to go the hell away is a sport. I know that. I'm, I'm, I'm so hungry, you didn't even get me a fish. Alright, as you move up to about here, <laughs> go ahead and set yourselves up right here. Um, these creatures have patrolled to this point and see you as you approach. Your voices echo throughout the entire cavern. <laughs> oh, ex excuse me, gentlemen. We, uh, we're visitors here, and uh, if you could kindly help us. Uh, where's, uh, hold on. I just want to know where your shitter is. I yell, Sharon's a whore. <laughs> I mean, we don't want no trouble. Just let's, let's keep on going. Wow. Oh, that's not right. Oh, that's doubling. All right, now I have to augment some of you guys because I don't get it fixed. Yep. Yeah, that's weird. My, I have init mod two. It's weird. Yeah, I had that problem the whole last game. I have to figure out what that problem is, because I must have a setting off or something. One moment, please. Sorting. Gruff, you gain initiative. Uh, dang old Gruff gonna get in there first, I guess. What are we naming these? We gotta name everything. <laughs> Uh, do I know what they are? They are Kuatoa. These already exist. They are Kuatoa. Oh wow, he found out they exist. Good job. I'm calling it Dale Earnhardt. They, they are already categorized. <laughs> this is why I told you names don't really matter. Names matter well. very much. They do, but anyone can name anything they want nowadays. Oh, only for the unintelligent. Dale the, only, the only things that can't be disputed are what in contracts. All right, so you move up to there, Gruff. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I got reached, so I'm gonna poke that boy. Get poke him. Get poke. Ooh. Oh, roll another d10. Oh, I have a question because it's relevant, and I was gonna ask. Uh, I have great weapon mastery, so how do I do that? Well, first you finish rolling your crit, and then as a bonus action, you attack again. No, I mean uh, you re-roll on a on a one roll or a two roll from your. Two oh, weapon. oh, oh. Um, here, hold on. I can set that macro up for you. I just don't remember what if it was like R. Or... It's it's R. You would do um, what is it? One one or two? So it'd be R three. One R three D ten. It would be uh. One D ten R three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you've got the fighting style. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Okay. Right. <clears throat> well, roll another D10. Because if you have that, then that would have been re-rolled. Uh, so that's going to be a total of 12 damage. <clears throat> ah! 
big hit. All right, hold on. I gotta move enemies. You're not looking too good there, Dale. Ozzy. You gonna correct him, Hackney? Mm, how, how high is the ceiling? Uh, the, ceiling the ceiling in here is 10 feet. I'm not going to bother flying then. Uh, I'm going to just magic up a few pebbles with my bonus action and just start tossing them. Throw one at the one that's already been hit. All right. That's going to hit for eight. And that's it. <laughs> Shoot him through the throat. Braktor. All right, then. Oh, swinging at him with my magic warhammer. Mm, Forge priest. Does a 14 give him the old bonk? Not those guys. Aww. Alright then. I'm good. Hackney! It's time for more of the usual, yeah? And I am going to. She'll touch them. Oh god. Ah! There's so much damage! Ow! Kuatoa Raiders. Alright, Kuatoa Raiders 7 will stab at Braktor for 4 damage. Oh, I... that'll, that'll be a hit. These creatures appear further down the hallway. Oh. Well then, we got more incoming. Looks like we got about 4 more Dale Earnhardt coming down the roof. Um, I look behind us. Are there any coming behind us? Uh, you do not see any. Cool. Uh, is stealthing an action or a bonus action? Bonus action for you. Okay. Move down here. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, because I have to. I'm gonna stealth check. And then I'm going to try and get a shot down on number five. Number five. That guy. That guy, yep. That'll hit for five damage. That your stealth is fine, so roll a sneak attack as well. All right, so that's nine damage total. Gruff. You're mooted if you're being funny. Oak. Another of the raiders dies. Dang old tiefling can tell me I ain't no good killing fish hiding behind trees and talking shit about my fishing skills. I'd kill more fish than all of you. I've actually killed more fish than you during this time. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure hack me. Has killed more fish than you so I'm far. Blowing your stills and trying to talk to me, dog. Stay great. quiet. <laughs> and why don't you stop talking to me and go move down and do what you're good at? All right, you see more of the Koatoa have appeared. I'm not good at. And one of them stands out from the others as being some sort of leader, or at least a tribal shaman. He has fancier clothes on and carries with him a staff. Ozzy. Mm, oh, it's my turn again. Yeah, we're on our clothes. <laughs> um, the staff right, is clothing. That, that's looking big, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my bear uh, my, my, my bear-shaped wooden druidic focus aloft. I, I don't really have to do it, just for flavor. And I am going to hold on, I'm, I'm reading look at my rules real quick. Uh, and I am creating an aura around us, around our team, and to grant us all uh, uh, eight temporary hit points. And uh, um, while they're in the aura, they're going to gain strength checks and strength saving throws while in the aura. Dope. Here, I'll give you guys the temp HP. What's the range on it? 
It is a 30 foot radius. I, I ain't in there. Oh, you guys so. aren't in it, so. Yeah. What? Uh, are you sure? Like, worth up him? I'm 40 and he's 35. Is it? Is it well, from I don't have, you? I don't, no, it's not on me. I can put it wherever I want within 60 feet. Oh, well, in that case. So I just make sure to get everybody. Optimal placement would be right here. Yeah. Right that'll, hit, that'll hit everybody. All right, there you go. And I'm going to kind of move Hold up. Hold on. Let me here. apply everybody's temp. Oh. You said eight? Eight. Yep. I'm, I'm good. Oh, you already did it? Okay. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Hold on, I didn't do that as the DM. There you go, now you guys have tip. Raktor! Oh, hey, we got, uh, we got quite a few pissers coming in. Alright then. Uh, I am going to cast a spell. Magic. Uh, and I will bless myself, Gruff, and uh, Bellanovan before stepping here. Oh, why, thank you. All right, let's bring it to him. Come on, you fishy bastards. Why am I a pirate now? All right, Hackney, what you got for me? Let's see how far away we are. Oh, I see. I only need to take one step forward, and then I get this one. Yes? Yes. Two fireballs or something. <laughs> need no fireballs. For ah! However, I deal fire damage this time. It's Good fish for you. It's dead. All right. That Kuatora, is my turn. Kuatora Raiders. <clears throat> Dash to here. <clears throat> Bell and Oven. Uh, do I have to be around a corner to stealth? You do have to break line of sight, yes. Yep. Um, so I can't stealth right now, probably. So I'll move right here. Do I have LOS? Uh, Are you trying to shoot the uh, caster-looking guy? Yeah. You've got LOS on him. But I think I would, if I shot him, it would be a disadvantage, because it's only 100 feet for a heavy. Oh, it's out. Okay, yeah, you're right for a distance. So I, I'm just going to shoot number two. Oof. That's, a, that's an instant miss. Feels bad, man. And then I'll wait. Gruff stares at you with his one weird eye. What are you staring at me for, Gruff? Mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure which eye is the weird eye, and that scares me. Let's see you do better than Gruff. All right, Gruff, show me what you got. I move up and give him a poke. Poke him. Arcadium, right, I've got a question. What's up? I set up my still touch cantrip to be a 1d8 plus 5, but it's doing 1d12 for some reason? No, wait. Yeah, no, it's showing up right. Never mind. I don't know what, I don't know what chat's talking about. Never mind. I think you might have clicked on the wrong one before, or something happened, and it did show up as a D12 once, but it's it looks right now, so it doesn't matter. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> am I able to use that blunt attack bonus action with reach? I don't think with reach, no. Uh, let me go look, though. Was it I have it open. Hold on. It doesn't say anything about reach. Oh, well, then you probably can. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, Chill you're adding your uh, modifier, which I don't think you do for Chill Touch. Oh, uh, okay. You, uh, you don't? I just assumed it was, like, a lore wizard thing. I... Let me double check, but I'm pretty sure no. I was getting things mixed up. Sorry. I'm not usually used to setting up macros like this. It's all gravy. Uh, that'll miss. I know that's a thing that'll happen to low words it's later, though. Let's see. Kuatoa will dash, 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 dash. Oh my god. All right. Speaker will move up to here. And it will fire out magic missiles! At Gruff! Fish missiles! 12 damage to Gruff. My god, fish no, what, what do they look like? Is it like a school of fish? Yeah, they look like tiny little piranhas. Yeah, my dreams have all been true. I knew this day would come. <laughs> Does that mean you're enjoying it? Yeah, the fish learn magic. I'm telling you, they want to be people and they want to learn our magics. I, I, do, I, I don't <laughs> think magic is inclusive to people. Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy will um, uh, move his totem. I can do that as a bonus action, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Yes, I'm going to move that there. Okay. I'm going to... Uh, actually, I can just hang back here, and I'm going to toss another one of my magic pebbles at, uh, number... The one that's hurt, number four. Fire away. Give him one of those bad boys. And I'll just yeah! hang out back here. Braktor, Iron Bellows! <laughs> All right, then. You fishy bastards. What the hell All is a right, screenshot... Then. 30-30. That's uh, the bear totem. Gotcha. Alright, I'm, uh... Hmm. This is, this is, the. Uh, actually, I may not do that. I'm about to show you a trick, fishman. You'll be familiar with it. I'm gonna cast a nerd spell from my nerd spell list. I'm gonna hit him, hit this uh, speaker boy with some magic missiles. That <laughs> took her magic. That took her magic. <laughs> Aye, he took that magic right in his appendix. Fish have appendix, right? Hackney! Go at all. I five. And I'm gonna make it, a uh, lightning damage. Uh, uh which, which one? Lightning on this boy. Oh! Anything else? No. Okay, go to a raider. Yeah! This one will stab out at the dwarf for 10 damage. Oh, what well, you gonna be like that? Raider 3 will stab out at Gruff. Actually, I'm gonna. I. Oh, yeah, you're. This one didn't well... provoke, right? No, they both. He, he they was standing here. Oh right, yeah. So he's fine, okay, but the yeah. other one, the other one did. Okay, also, did you take your magic missile damage? I did. It was the temp HP. Ah, okay. That made it look weird. Okay. Unfortunate. Oh, bless. So. oh, bless will save that. How much temp HP did we get? Eight. It was eight. It says I have sixteen temp. What? Uh, just I take think eight you damage. Double added on him. Yeah, just deal, just deal eight damage. All right, I'm gonna stab Grunt, uh, Griff. We'll miss. That's it for them. Bellanova. I'm gonna break LOS. Uh, does this break LOS? Yeah. Uh, you have to concentration, Bractor. 
Oh, yep, you're right. Uh, concentration, I just try to test two. Well, okay. Easy. I'm gonna stealth. I'm gonna peek around the corner. Move the dead body. And let's see if I can get rid of their leader looking guy. I'm gonna shoot at number, speaker number two. Oh, wow. Hmm. Alright, let's count it up. Oh. That's sneak attack. Roll some sneak attack for me. All right, now roll another 2d6 and another d10. Okay. Oh, wrong one. All right, that's a total of 13, 23, 33 damage. As you shoot the Kuatoa speaker right in the head. Well, I think it's safe to say they don't have a leader anymore. Man, where can I get your jersey? <laughs> Griff. I think the DM just called me Griff. Or Gruff, excuse me. What, Gruff? What the heck? <laughs> Little slap. Step on them corpse. The takers move up. Kick that dead body out of the way. Provoke. Ew. Alright, this one will throw a neck net at Brackthor or Backthor, excuse me. I would prefer to not be in this net. Uh, 1d20 for my dex, 1d4 for bless. A. This one will throw one at Gruff. <laughs> Unfortunate, but don't forget bless, which saves you. Oh, I didn't know bless was, uh... Yeah. Well, he rolled... Who? He rolled above it. Oh, it's DC 13, not 15. No, you're right, you're right. All right, these two will stab at Gruff. Stab! Stab! For four damage. No, I'm even going to regret that one. Ozzy. Oh. I'm just going to chill back here. Uh, I'm going to throw uh, the last magic pebble that I have magicked and toss that at the, uh, the raider that's already been hurt. And then I'm going to uh, magic up a new handful and just chill. Braktor. Well, I want to do that thing I do, but I don't want to break ranks. Although I guess... Yeah, I can do that. Unless, uh, yeah. I think it's just straight adjacent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright then. We got ourselves a bit of a fish fry. Oh. I'm going to swing at Taker 2 with my magic warhammer. Uh, and part of that attack action will be using Green Flame Blade. Ugh. Unfortunate. Uh, existence is pain. You want me to give you some magic rocks, mate? You need a little uh, help? No, but... Take attacks, because I'm not going to let the line break that easily. Alright, these two will take some shots. Stabs! Those are misses. Okay. Hackney. It's time for fishies to do this leaping again. And I'm going to use chill touch on this boy. All 
All right, this one uh, has its eyes melted. Rest now. I did that. You did not. Good job, Gruff. I always believed in you. Do, do not encourage him. Don't tell, him. don't tell anyone, but she's my favorite. I'm gonna move behind Ozzy. <laughs> I'm gonna whisper in his ear. In his ear. Keep still for a second, alright? Alright? And I'm gonna put my crossbow on his shoulder. <laughs> and I'm gonna shoot number two in the eye. <laughs> oh. Twink. Wow. Trick shot. And the, the freaking mechanism knocks his glasses off. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> He's looking like a nerd. I'm going to I'm going to pat him on the back oh, and pick up his glasses for him. Those are prescription. They don't even have where lenses do, in them. Where do you expect me to find a lens crafters in the Badlands? Oh, WLGLA's in chat. Look at this guy just showing off. And black, my black. turns over. Black, 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 black. All right, Gruff. What do you got for me? Uh, hmm. I poke this one. Stab him. Unfortunate. Bonk. That bonk will do it. Um. And then. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. And provoke from the two of them. Well, that one already attacked, but the one in the bottom swung, and I think they miss. Yep. All right. Next are the Kuotoa Takers. And I'll attack him when okay. he provokes from walking up. Oof! <laughs> uh, these three will all gang up on Braktor. Let's test. Actually, does that does that diagonal work for me? Uh, yeah, yeah, it okay. does. It's not like uh, Pathfinder where it's fifteen. It actually doesn't yeah. work like that. I couldn't remember which one was which. All right, these three will gang up on Braktor and test the front line. Oof. Well, that's uh fourteen. Fourteen damage. Hopefully, you like pain. I I don't prefer it. Uh, bless, bless saves bless. Ozzy. Um, hmm. Trying to decide if I want to heal Braktor. Be right no, that's fine. Keep going, I can deal another. I can keep going. This ain't nothing. Heal Gruff and said then. He seems fun. Please fine. heal him. Oh, he did say he. this ain't nothing. Dwarves ain't got that much blood because they're so small. <laughs> Uh, I am then going to heal Gruff. Because Braktor said he's fine. Uh, Gruff, I like you, but... Boyo, oh, I've got more blood in me pecker than you've got in your whole body. You should spend less time in the water. I speak in Dwarvish to Braktor. Uh, I can help you beat him up one day, or maybe get him in a legal trap. <laughs> There is nothing said, however, there is judgment being slowly sent over this way. God damn it, this is Calcutash and we speak common here. <laughs> uh, I done did tell you I already better speak calm. I didn't say anything. Alright, Ozzy, anything else? Anything? He did, he's Ozzy's he's good. I, I have spoken dwarvish to you. Fractor. I don't want to implicate this man in, in crime. I don't I don't want to implicate me in crime. All right, no, I'm gonna... no, it's not crime. It's legal. I'm going to swing it number... Language. I'm going to swing it number, uh, number five here, activating my green flame blade. Slam me. All right, and uh, this boy right here takes uh, two whole damage. <laughs> Ugh. 
<laughs> takes. Uh, why? Why is that one damage? What are you swinging? That was my bless. I hit this boy for twelve. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you want to take that comment back? I always believed in you, mate. Nice. And, uh... Anything else? I should probably use a healing word on myself. Nah, I'm good. YOLO. Yeah, me. Hackney! Congratulations. You were the last one to survive. High five. Beep. Ow. Anything else? And that's it. Okay, Bella Novin. All right, hold on to your glasses this time. Oh, I hold on. Oh, did you hit him? I, I don't, don't think so. Oh, bloody, I'm, I'm not a friggin' plank of wood. Well, you are right now. All right, next we have is Gruff. Welcome in the face. That's a good face poke. All right. Welcome in the butt. The creature falls as you skewer it through its face. It falls to the ground in a pathetic gurgle. And it seems that there are no more Kuatoa. All right, oh. Ozzy, Ozzy will drop a, a hmm, how do I want to do, how much health are you missing? That's quite a bit. I'm not going to heal it in one. I collect. I collect my bolts. Listen, fellas, I'm getting get around. I got something important to say. All uh, right, let's hear it. Hold on. Um, I'm going to put my, this is not my bear totem. I'm actually putting a healing spirit right here where the bear is. So... Bractor, go ahead and start walking through the healing spirit. Yep, I know this. I know this jump jive. <laughs> All right, I will. I'll do the dwarven shuffle through the healing spirit. Is that a defined healing, or is it like just you? Roll? Oh, 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 yeah. I should roll. I need to roll that every time you do it. So let me I start just, rolling those. Just roll <laughs> ten, ten d whatever it is, because my bless is gonna fade anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna take some too. So, oh no, we uh, can all do it. It's stupid broken. There you go. Gruff Whichever one of those you want. One dance. No, like you can move it, and we everyone can get healing from that. Oh, that's, whatever. I mean, we're full. That's it. That's going to be plenty to fill us, I All believe. All right, full hill. That's fine. Go ahead. All right, what do you guys do? Well, listen, listen up, everybody. I Listening. Gotta... Okay, I'm not dead. We got a man down. I think they have a heart attack. <laughs> it's, it's a Jeremy game. I'm too used to taking damage. Shut up, door from trying to make a speech. When I first came to Badlands, I thought it'd done take a long time before I make new fishing buddies, but on day one, we're already just out here fishing together. It brings a tear to my eye. I done lost my wife and my son. I done lost it all. But now I have you. Oh, I... I put... Get off. That was... A... That was oh, touching? I put a hand on his shoulder and think to myself... We're not even fishing. And then I move up. <laughs> and I ain't replacing your wife. Uh, you, you don't don't pay them no more, Gruff. <clears throat> Once we get to uh, a proper settlement, uh, we'll have a nice uh, a nice cup of mead. Or, you know, I guess whatever they have out here, which is probably fermented mud or whatever. I suspect fish oil. But yes... Good to have new friends. I can empathize to a certain extent. 
Mm -hmm. Either way, more cave to explore. I'm uncertain with how to take that, so yes, let's explore the cave. Okay. As you move up towards the north... Uh, well, you could find what could only be described as a home of some kind. Uh, you can see that strange green fires are burning uh, in this area, providing heat and light. Hmm. I want to look inside. Uh, inside, you see that there is an even larger fire, and that it is... Oh, it's quite cozy inside. But you also see some coins. Do an investigation Ooh. check. And the doubloons. You find 20 gold pieces in this uh, tent. All right. I'm going to look around in my the pocket outside. and I come outside. Hey, Ozzy. Yeah. Here's four gold coins. Oh, nice. So you found four in there? No. Mm. So they will be putting out them there fires and we don't want to know when the house to burn down. Uh, Kids else burn down, it was bad. I inspect yeah. nature of flame. And then I also give four gold coins to Hackney, Bractar, and Gruff. Alright, make a nature oh, check. A oh, nature day. check? Okay. I bite it to make sure it's real. It is real. Gruff, do you think I'd really be giving you fake coins at this point of time, right I after you made that speech? The check and you go and spend it, and it's not even real. Not where I look like a degenerate. <laughs> do I look like someone that disvalues the value of money? <laughs> I, look like I don't know, you do look like you're dressed like one of them proud uh, some, some or other. Exactly. No, no, can continue what you were saying. <laughs> With the 23, you can tell that this is natural fire. It burns green because of the fuel that they use. They burning, they're burning algae. Ah. Uh, what amazing. I'm surprised is that Gruff didn't break a teeth, a tooth, biting the gold coin. The ones I got left are the strongest ones. There's a battle royale in here. <laughs> <laughs> I put out flame. All right. I'll I'll also use control flame to start um uh putting those out as well. Uh, but I can take a sample if you've got like a flame proof bottle or something. They only burn moss. No sample required. Sample already gained. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying? That you think that you can capture fire in a bottle. Is well, that what you're telling me right now? Well, I said the bottle had to be fireproof. Fireproof doesn't mean fire maintain. How are you going to... Well, there's some drinks there like fire in a bottle. It's not how bottles would. Well, all right. All right. Yes, technically speaking, you're taking a sample of what it's burning, but you know. Then it doesn't need to be fireproof, now does it? We're still going to be hot. This is going to be my life. I wonder if we should name the fire as well. The fire is still fire. No name necessary. I'm going to name that fire Jeff Gordon. I'm going to stealth check and then scout ahead. <laughs> Jeff Gordon. Oh, I knew it was coming. I'll peek around the corner to make sure there's not any more of them uh, hold fish on. boys. I'll move you guys. As you continue to search the rest of the complex, you uncover evidence that this was a small Kuatoa village. Uh, you find a hundred gold pieces in these huts. Nice. Until eventually, after searching the rest of the complex, you find yourself here at the shaman's tent. Well, I'm going to sneak what in there. Is? This is a lot of fireflies. That's what this is. 
Inside here, Sweet. you see an enormous emerald. That's an emerald. Uh, huh. Do oh, not I think uh, I'll just I think I'll just casually uh, detect walk in magic. The, holy shit! <laughs> detect magic. Uh, it is not magical. I'm gonna start hmm. touching and looking around it to see if there's anything off about it. I suspect trap. Well, I'm already touching it. Roll an investigation. That ember. Oh, that emerald's about. I can't get the. F it's because I keep fucking laughing. Just don't laugh. God dang it! I was in the toilet, but I could hear everything. There's an emerald. I need it. Oh, I need that. <laughs> I want that. God's above uh, that. And there's a lot of. Be calm, big bird. There's a lot of things people it want. Being life. handled. All right, yes. roll that. I'm going to use this here terribly. <laughs> <laughs> that em that emerald's large enough to to buy you a year's worth of barley brews reserve. Well, something right. tells me that this isn't going to be usable because there's too many fishermen touching it. But we'll find out. All right, you're able to identify uh, to investigate and find out that this is not trapped. But you do find some strange grooves on the side, Bellanova, which leads you to believe that this was once placed in something. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Hey. Gruff, come over here. And I'm going to need your help too, Brackton. Yeah, I'm taking a shit. Well, fucking hurry up and shit. All right, well, what you want me to do? Well, let's carry it where he's taking a shit. <clears throat> oh, oh come on, down. don't don't put that later. evil on this this poor innocent what? gem. What's going on in here? It's what fine. Is a, it looks like it's been it lo it looks like it's been placed somewhere before, and I feel like the only place we can place it is a place that looks very homesome to it. Very well. My pocket. I permit this. Your the pocket is not big enough for that, Ozzy. Well, that's why I've got this. And I Let's... pull a crowbar out of my burglar's pack. And then I hand it to Gruff and I say, All right, start chipping us off some of that. No, don't, don't, please don't do that. Don't listen to Ozzy. He's the last if person you... you want to listen to. I don't quite have the faintness of what's going on in here, but as a divine practitioner of the Green Pantheon, I respect that thing. All right, Gruff, help us carry it into where you just, uh, yeah. Oh, you can say it, lad. I, I mean, it's just a bodily function. Well, we've already talked about it enough, I feel like. Wait, 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 I don't, I'm pulling this thing. And putting no, it. We're, we're picking it up. Come on. I, yeah, but <laughs> it's knees. not a toilet. It's not a toilet. Uh, Live with your oh, knees, I Gruff. I know it's news. easy for me because I'm like 90% <laughs> knees. How, how is this so hard? Can we just pick it up? Listen. Oh, I mean, I could probably turn into a rock it, it big animal. Out the door. You gotta it, turn it. This seems oddly familiar. What do you mean, turn it? It's a sphere. It doesn't matter it. how you turn it. Uh, <laughs> <God> damn it. <laughs> Playing my stream game, Jeremy said. It'll be serious, he said. I'm dead serious. Put it in. Oh, plop I it know. in. We're almost there. We're almost there. Careful, careful. Don't hit the door uh, frame. Uh, don't get your fingers caught. Uh, and why did we do that? I don't think well, we missed this or something. Ashes to ashes. Shit to shit, as my gran always said. I look inside. Uh, uh what the... Why did it disappear? I don't know. <laughs> I think I that's know. why. Oh, I think that's why Hackney was uh, afraid. She's is like, "Where'd it go?" Uh, hold on, is hold this, on. Is this object? Hold on, on hold on, hold on, hold on. Pay no attention. Oh, there it is. Okay, come oh, here. We got a sinker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. Um. Okay, so the pot that he pooped in was a potion concoction, and there's a bunch of fireflies above it um you place the gem on top of it and it is now covered in shit based concoction potion water hmm 
Nothing seems to happen. We take Jen. Likely belong to some sort of site somewhere. Well, we can take it, but I feel like it needs to be put somewhere. Um, it's I, have a, Most I have a thought. Um, you There's said that, uh, that, that 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 divining pool uh, needed some kind of uh, power source? I don't know oh, you mean the some divination sort of water? A ritual needed to be done. I wonder if this gem or this concoction pre-getting shat upon uh, is the key to repowering that. Well, Man. before we carry it all the way, I could try and go over there and investigate to see if it matches any of the grooves on the the gem. Please do so. In the meantime, I'm going to use precipitation to clean the shit out of the potion concoction. And I'm going to move off the gem too. all the way down to the pot. Does a twenty-two arcana tell uh, me it does not seem to? Belief? It does not seem that it fits inside of it. Hmm. Um, Can I search like, other places here to see if it fits anywhere? I'll save you some game? time. It doesn't seem to fit anywhere. Uh, it seems mm. that it seems that wherever the uh, gem is from, it is not from here. Oh my god! Hold on. Well, I'm sorry, I put it. Uh, oh. I'm going to look for the originations of the gem, and then also the potions, what the potions are after that. Can I, is there any way while I was um, at the, the pot, is there any the check potions. can I check around to see if there's anything that lets me know how to make us get more divinations? Um, you would need to repeat the ritual, which you do not have the capability to figure out at this time. Uh, okay. The arcana check that you just made, Hackney, reveals to you that the potion concoction uh, was supposed to be something very curious. It seems a potion that is meant to remove undeath. Uh, a concoction that has long since been spoiled. How long since? Was it spoiled by poop? Yes. Well, uh, <clears throat> hope we didn't need that. I slap him upside oh, I, the head. I was, you oh. ignorant, stupid fisherman! You do not just go and ruin ancient... I do not believe that you are traveling with... You, you, you like these fish people more than you like me, this evil I am not saying ground. that I like the fish people. I am saying that I like preserved knowledge. You did not preserve knowledge. Whatever was in that pot was evil, and you know it. It was not. Is it I a... don't think. Is it really so far gone we can't take a sample? He spoiled it. It's a good I thing we have her it. to slap people. Uh, now... <clears throat> sorry to hear that, last. This gem doesn't fit anywhere here, and I have no idea how we're going to get it out of down here. All right. Uh, well, you know what? I'll I'm going gonna, gonna to give you a little bit of extra knowledge because you're a rogue. Okay. You may have at some point in your career, uh, whilst diplo diplomatizing some nobles, you may or may not have popped a few gems out of a few eye sockets of a few statues. Which leads you to believe that that's what this is. A very, very mm. big eye for a very, very big statue. So this is just a giant stolen gem from a giant statue. Well, it's about to be stolen again. Is this... <clears throat> is this Bonnie Great Chip? Excuse me. Okay. Thing. What's my wife doing here? Whoa, where'd Man, this ox come from? All right, um, at first I had one question, now I have two. <laughs> Moo! Who made this? <laughs> I, I start pushing the the emerald out. Oh. I don't I don't think that's what he was referring I mean, I think he meant the tunnel. Can, we just tied can oxes up. Can oxes swim? We have to take the gem up. <laughs> we still have to swim up, remember? <laughs> yeah, look. Lad, I think we've found the bird's motivation, so, uh... We've known start. that from the start, I think, when he said he wanted to steal whatever we left on the beach. 
Oh yeah, but now there's that big fuck off gem. I bet mm. he can do anything. Mm. I mean, what is bringing this gem up even accomplish? We just hold it in the caravans out in the open where anyone can see it. And go sell it to that Galen guy. Got so much money he can buy us anything. We know not what it is used for. It could be for. Well, yeah. it's it's and in the eye. It was an in the eye of a statue. Hmm. They likely pay a lot to get it back. Yes. Or they might just kill us, wondering where we got it from. Hmm. May I? Anyways. Anyways, what we first have to figure out if we are taking this gem out is how we get it above the water. Is anyone even strong enough to swim with it? Do we have ropes we can tie it to someone? I have rope. I do not have strength. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've got rope. I can push it up a little bit and do the water. I mean, Gruff was just walking on the bottom of the water. Just, just tie it to him. I think we just tie it to both Gruff and Braktor and just have them duo it. Yeah, I mean, uh, 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 Ozzy will motion towards his bags. And if you look in there, you will find two more ropes. So. Okay. So, the party makes a net, a pole net, places the emerald within, and attempts to swim out with a gigantic emerald on their backs. Looks like it. All right. Normally, I would be... Really skeptical of this, but considering that you have somebody that can hold their breath for an hour underwater, I'm gonna let it go because it's, eventually you'll get it. Even if Gruff has to pull it up the whole and, way and himself. One of those fish. Yeah, and one of those fish got it. We take one. I take a fish for myself as well. All right. My I already forget their name. Again. I'm kind of big one. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> All right. You return to Galen's Gate. Um, to the rapturous cheers of your of your fellow caver uh, of your fellow settlers, uh, and the great size of the emerald gem alights everyone's face, and as such, Galen is so ecstatic that he decides to use it as the as the main monument to Galen's gate. And in the short span of a week, people come flooding in. From nearby Ord, and even have crossed the second sea in order to join the new settlement. And as such, the success of this mission has grown Galen's Gate by one. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. Am I able to talk to him for compensation for this gem yeah, we've yeah. just provided? Yeah. But hold on, I just kind of want to show this off real quick. Would there be any form of um, lake that we could introduce the fish to? Because we have two, hopefully a male and a female. Maybe we can start breeding. Or hell, even like visit back and forth. Is Gruff a breeder? Is he a mouth Gruff? breeder. Gruff is anything you need him to be. Well, <laughs> anything, huh? He, yeah, he, he's a go getter. Except decent. Just starts pooping in pots. Pow! You guys will never know how I saved you from that didn't pot. Didn't load yet. Well, I think if we didn't kill that diseased thing and use whatever that was in that pot, then, uh, yeah. We could have potentially saved some poor Dampier's lives, but no. Poor and Dampier. Hmm. Nope, doesn't compute. Or the Revenants, even. Where is he? I have some talking to do with him. Sorry. Sorry, whack man. No cure for you. There Stir shit in it. You guys loaded? Yep. Alright, so you guys see the uh, town being constructed? Yep. Alright, a bunch of supplies and all a bunch sorts of tents. Of have flocked, Got some cabbages. I have have flocked in towards the town of Galen's Gate. We got some pumpkin melons. My friends, Galen Gustavo will approach you. It is by no <clears throat> small part of yourselves that our explosion of people, our, 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 our fortunes have turned, not only from your protection, but from your bravery investigating those ruins. You have removed the Kuatoa threat. As such, 
I will see that you are properly rewarded. I have just received a next shipment from my home. And as such, you shall all be paid handsomely. And he will hand you each 500 gold pieces. Ooh. I'll toss the bag around and then I'll look Galen, Galen in the eyes and say, and what about the gem? The giant gem. Ah, uh, yes. The gem will be a shining jewel of Galen's gate. And of course, shining gems should be shiningly rewarded to the people that found it. Yes. And how much do you think we should get? He'll start to narrow his eyes a bit as he sees what you're getting at. I think a honored place at my table is worthwhile payment enough. I had to push it uphill underwater. Both ways. Greedy boys will be greedy boys. Then. I had to become an ox. I, I'm not complaining, it's, I'm just bragging. I, I put my, my arm around his shoulder and try and beckon him to go away from the group. Uh, well, well, thank you, Mr. Mr. Galen, sir. It's a right kind gift to you. Indeed it is, but let me hear what your associate has to say. Yes? I appreciate the offer, and I won't ask for any lump sum of cash since we are just starting out. But how about a percentage of the revenue the town makes once it's finally constructed? Hmm. Now who is the one that follows greed, I wonder. But, a fair point. I shall give you half a percent. Half a percent? Indeed. I try and persuade him, saying that we did risk our lives, and we even risk it more carrying a giant gem swimming through the water where any of us could have drowned. Thank I say at least two. Oh, persuasion. Cool. He'll stroke his beard. Hmm. Two is not... Two is not a guarantee that I can make it this time. But I shall give you one. Okay. Uh, I quick... I write up a quick contract with my, uh... kit. And, uh, I add a little clause in there saying for later negotiations for the 2%, since he's not able to agree to it right now. All right, he will uh, take the contract, he'll look at it, he'll read it over, uh, and then he will pull a symbol from behind his shirt, and you will see the symbol of Babylon. He will begin to finger it softly as he reads it over and over and over again. But seemingly satisfied, he will hold out his hand to shake with yours. And I shake his hand. My pleasure. And I'll walk back to my companions. And so, Galen's Gate. It's few tiny infant steps into settlement have been protected and provided by the bravery of a few. What wonders await our heroes? What new paths will they uncover? And what will be the fate of Galen's Gate? Find out next time. Oh, that's not the right portrait. Yeehaw. Yeah, next time. Hey, good well, session, that was really guys. fun. Pawn champ. Fuck. It's a serious campaign, they said. I made a serious character. I don't know about you guys. Ruff is I a serious made a serious character. character. Ruff is a serious character. I, don't, I, don't I will the very serious fight character. You to death. <laughs> he is. He is a very serious character. He's just not from where you were from, so you're judging him. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not I gonna judge lie. His mother does because I wish you to do your best. Man, I, I, I felt I'm like not gonna the, lie. There's judgment. I felt like that first mission was a little weak, but I was just trying to. Get you guys established, and now they're all going to be a lot better from now on. I guess. No, man, you, that was fine. That was fun. Yeah, see, that was a pretty, pretty solid mission. I mean, Brock almost died. Plus, plus, you know, I... 
I have nine Kua, hit points. Kua Toa, mm-hmm. are, Kua Toa are very rarely fought, and the fact that Stir suddenly made a fucking noodler just kind of made that whole thing perfect. <laughs> like, yeah, was, you couldn't have planned for that because you didn't even know. I didn't. I, I didn't. Ago. I didn't know what you were gonna do Look, until I'm two not, days ago. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Some things um, just work out. I'm not gonna lie. The, just the very beginning of this man being like, I'm gonna go to the bad lands. I'm gonna find me some fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all the fish. I'm gonna noodle it. Uh, okay, then. Oh, hey, look. Fishmen. <laughs> <laughs> Audible blink. Yeah, I just, all right. He's like, I don't oh. understand why you came here. They're trying to Guess dress it's... like us. They're trying to steal our magics. Guess this is what we're doing. <laughs> well, we, need, we, need to build, we need to build a gate. The dang old fish man are trying to, trying to talk to Galen. And down there, there, be there, be there. Okay. I, By the end of the it's... campaign, we'll all just be, we'll all be speaking gruff. <laughs> well, Except I still have my accent at the same time. I was able to speak gruff because I'm a oh, mastermind. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> it requires that... a mastermind. This, <laughs> Hackney, Hackney has a very, like, appealing, well-thought-out voice. It just, it just rings on the ears. Uh, and... I'm somewhere in the middle as a dwarf. Ozzy's kind of on the border. And then just said, <laughs> Gruff. <laughs> also, my character got really oh sad God, because could. I realized that I could have used the, like, divining pool to find my fucking nephew. I hate myself. Kuwato are renamed Dale That's what Earn I thought Earn you were going to do. She... Look, I just... Mm. I, found the I, I didn't... Fish. I'm not a NASCAR person, so I didn't see it coming, but, um... Fire. Listen, I'm a serious oh, character. No. I'm already establishing contracts to get myself money. You are arguably, you are perhaps the most serious businessman in this group. But then again, it's, <laughs> listen, it's a it's a pretty narrow field. Hey, give me a chance to sell him that fish. <laughs> I'll show you what a businessman looks like. Yeah, just wait until there's like a giant doomsday fish that can fly in the air like a. Like a megalodon. I just, I just, I'm I, gonna I, find a fucking apple. Let's just do it. When he made a noodler, I was just losing my mind the whole time because I, I knew the whole adventure ahead. And when he gets there, he's like, <laughs> "I've trained my whole life for this." <laughs> well, I am disappointed he didn't shove his like hand into any of their mouths. And so it was just and just rip out oh, their guts. That's Sorry. because grappling is dog shit, and I don't want to do it. Well, maybe oh. Arcadum will give you flavor points. I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't I just... want to have the roles associated with actually grappling them. I, I may have lost my wife and child, but this has now given meaning to all of my pain. And I know that it was not for naught, and the gods care for me deeply. Mm. Though, we don't realize that he didn't lose them. They just abandoned him. <laughs> Man, that's good stuff, guys. This, this is going to be a great group. Everybody was firing off at maximum... Uh, that was good stuff. I really enjoyed this group. Why did you make my Al a socialist? I, I don't know, I just did. Crystal made this. A socialist you don't want to get rid of so they don't win. I Look, if I get, if I pay you know the real reason? to get a new Al. You want to know the real reason? Miss Universe what? gets a pass because she doesn't understand my frustration. You do. You made a fucking okay. owl familiar, so you're gonna pay for it. Okay. L- okay, well, I'm sorry, first off, Crystal. I thought you did draw this owl. I apologize. Anyway. Look, <laughs> look, man, I made a dwarf wizard. I, I get a fucking... I get credit for that. I mean, I only chose owl, to be honest, because it fit the aesthetic. Like, look at her. I How could she not have was, an owl? You, you, you... You know why it makes me so frustrated, so it's not like... He, he knew, though. He knew, and he did it anyway. Anyway, <laughs> that is uh, that is good stuff, guys. Good good session. Are we good for next week, which is the 24th? Uh, if something comes be. up, yeah. I'll let you know. All right. I'm ready to noodle. I'm ready to I'm gonna, noodle. I'll make a fucking weasel familiar tomorrow so you can fucking turn it into some other weird shit. Oh, man. This was really great. This really upped my spirits. Oh, I'll make a, uh, someone, someone's asking, um, someone's asking if what the frustration is with the owl. Do you want to fucking spoil the secret? Uh, the frustration with the owl is that 
everybody has an owl familiar because flyby attack is a thing yeah. that lets you get free uh, advantage on one enemy of your choice. Yep. That's basically mm. what the familiar There's does. There's no consequence to it. There's which no is why consequence has to it, owl. and it's just better than nearly every other familiar choice because of that. Look, I I'm gonna always make... thought that I was under the assumption that they could do that if they just were helping you and like perching on your shoulder. So I didn't even. Also, um, for Johnny Law thirty nine, a uh, DM or GM, I think legally, if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, you can use uh, DM. Otherwise, it's just if better you're playing to use a different GM. system. Just say GM. This GM's safer. <clears throat> DM is literally trademarked. Yeah, it really is. So you have to be. Careful on that. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Uh, and also, good, thanks to time, thanks to each of the players for showing up. Had a great time. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Universe, Sean, Shorefor, Ronnie. Is that everybody? No, you're out. You're good. Okay, I'm out. All right. You got us all. All right. Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. And remember, Bye. stay cool, stay frosty, stay hydrated.